So we're starting with second half of the test. To complete the statement in the answer area, select the appropriate option from drop-down menu. A private cloud requires the use of custom developed software, data to be stored in, in an on-premises data center, the infrastructure to be a, on a private network, each tenant to access application and data through a different URL. Private cloud require the infrastructure to be on the private network. Next question. Match each Microsoft Cloud service with its cloud service type. Azure Cosmos DB. So, as I said before, I think uh, all the da databases are considered platform as a service. Azure Storage is the infrastructure, and Microsoft Office 365, which is set of applications, is ob obviously obviously software as a service. Okay, next question, question number 23. Which Azure resource can be deployed as EAS? We have API management. No, that, would, that represents platform as a service. Office 365 is obviously software as a service. Azure SQL database, all databases is platform as a service. And virtual machines, yes, that's an infrastructure. Next question. Question number 24. You have been asked to dev develop cloud migration plans for your organization. As part of it, this assignment, you need to identify the most cost-effective cloud service type for each department in the organization. The solution should minimize management overhead. Given each department's requirements, which solution should you recommend? Finance. Use provider managed hardware provider managed hardware to run a customized database customized database in this case would be EAS sales use provider managed calendar so a calendar is an application so it's gonna be software to schedule appointments and meetings marketing use provider managed business intelligence services to analyze marketing trends the last one is not very clear uh, I w if it's quite confusing but I in this case I think you you have to just remember that this is platform as a service okay next one question number 25 well, what is the appropriate cloud service model for each scenario a company needs to deploy an Ubuntu Linux virtual machine to run resource intensive data analysis application infrastructure and company needs to make productivity applications available to all employees including those that work from home on pay as you go basis so they want to give them office and other applications that software as a service a company needs to develop a web app designed to run on both computers and mobile devices and manage the application life cycle okay so here we need a platform okay platform as a service a company needs to transition an on-premises data center to the cloud with minimal impact on users transition on-premises data center to the cloud so we only need infrastructure to have it okay that's gonna be the answer next question number 26 your company deploys a public cloud according to the shared responsibility model which task will you be required to perform we have install critical updates on virtual machines configure connectivity between regions upgrade ram on virtualization systems manage access to data center resources obviously this is a no this is a no configure connectivity between is not no that's provider's job but you have to install critical updates on virtual ma machines next one question number 27 match each type of cloud computing with its description if cloud resources are owned and operated by a service provider and delivered over the internet so it's public cloud cloud resources are maintained on a private network and used exclusively 
by one business or organization that definition of the private cloud this is a combination so it's a hybrid cloud obviously next one question number 28 now you have completed the migration of your organization's core servers and processes to cloud-based virtual machines your final project involves migrating a weekly batch processing task that relies on operating system drivers to print PDF records. You need to meet this requirement while minimizing cost. What should you do? Run the batch processing task using spot instances. Migrate the batch processing to serverless compute. Configure virtual machine clusters to scale for batch processing. Execute the batch task on the dedicated virtual machine as needed. That's more difficult questions, but those spot instances, those virtual machines are uh, one that use unutilized compute power so, and they very, very cheap. So something like this that's asynchronous, it's perfect to uh, run the batch processing task using uh, those instances next one question number 29 match each benefit of cloud computing with its description manually increasing or decreasing resources to meet a predictable workload that's scalability can be on private or public cloud automatically increasing or decreasing resources to meet spikes and drop in demand that's advantage of public cloud its elasticity speed and flexibility in allocation and the allocation of required resources it's gonna be agility right here okay next question question number 30 your company migrates virtual machines from an on-premises data center to Azure as a part of the migration, all existing physical servers in your data center are decommissioned. The migrated workload runs on Azure virtual machines. Which are the two possible benefits on this cloud migration? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. We have ownership of physical infrastructure. No. This is what you're losing reduce service level agreement no it's not gonna be reduced pay per use model correct fix recurrent costs no they are not the cost the recurrent costs are not fixed absence of upfront costs for physical infrastructure yes that's why you're using the public cloud okay next one question number 31 to complete the sentence, select the appropriate option from drop-down menu. What is the delivery of computing services such as compute power, storage, software and analytics over the internet? That's cloud computing. Right here. Next question, question number 32. Your company is considering using platform as a service environment. You need to determine the responsibility of customers of customer and provider for several components which components would be the responsibility of the customer and which of the provider we have operating system data storage virtualization application operating system it's so many questions about operating system you have to uh, understand this well in this case it's on provider because it's platform as a service in infrastructure as a service that would be on the customer already data no matter on in which model it's always on the customer storage is on the provider virtualization is always on the provider and applications in software as a service is on the provider but here we have platform so it's on customer Next one. For each of the following statements regarding consumption and fixed fixed cost price models, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. 
for the organizations with consistent high utilization, ut utilization and consumption based price, pricing model is the most efficient one the consumption based no if you have consistent and high ut utilization you you want to re reserve some of your resources then the cost is going down there are no upfront costs when using the consumption based model that's correct in the fixed price model you pay for resources even if you don't use them that's correct as well unfortunately okay next one question number 34 to complete the statement in the answer area select the appropriate option from the drop down menu migrating to cloud services enables an organization to budget infrastructure costs as operational expense Yeah, that's correct next question for each of the following statements about capex and opex select yes if the statement is true otherwise select no capex costs are fixed capex yes using capex for infrastructure expanding is a good idea when the demand fluctuates or it's unknown no Using CapEx is a good idea when demand is consistent. The pay-as-you-go consumption model qualifies as OPEX. Pay-as-you-go, yes, that's correct. Next question, question number 36 now. You are a cloud engineer for a retail company. You need to decide whether to use a public or a private cloud. What is an advantage of using public cloud over the private cloud? Costs are lower and spread among multiple tenants. Greater security is provided for tenant data. Data. The environment supports a higher level of customization for each tenant. On-demand scalability allows business requirements to be met more efficiently. Security is not greater, okay? Because it well, at least in theory, it's considered that in private or on premises. Uh, infrastructure the security is uh, higher and <laughs> the environment supports higher level of customization for each time no because if if the infrastructure is yours obviously you have more power over uh, customizing it the way you want on demand scalability allows business requirements to be met more efficiently you can do it in both in private and in uh, public cloud and here we they are asking about uh, advantage of public cloud costs are lower and spread among multiple tenants yes that's correct next question question number 37 you need to deploy a serverless solution that meets the follow following requirements execution is triggered through a http request you pay only for the time that your code runs you do not have to manage the application infrastructure which Azure service should you use? Azure Functions, Azure Database for PostgreSQL, Azure SQL Database, Azure Virtual Machine. So here you basically need to know definition of what is uh, Azure Functions. Okay, this exactly fits the definition. Execution is, tri is triggered through HTTP request and you pay only for the runtime of the code. Okay next question 36 you work for a small company that hosts its own web server running microsoft internet information services and email server running microsoft exchange as demand on the web services increases you want to add a secondary web server to spread out the traffic as demand decreases you want to decommission the web server to save energy and, and maintenance you consider moving the current infrastructure to the cloud you need to determine the benefits of moving the infrastructure to the cloud you can use horizontal scaling for the web server yes you can do it you can resize the disk on demand on the mail server if email messages increase correct 
you eliminate the cost of having IT staff. No, you still need IT staff to manage infrastructure, but mm, you limiting, but you not eliminating. So it's a no. Okay. Next question. It's going to be question number thirty-nine. To complete the sentence, select the appropriate option from the drop-down menu. With what developers deploy code and pay for its runtime only, without worrying about provisioning, configuration, and management of the underlying infrastructure. Deploy code and pay for its runtime. That sounds like serverless computing. Let's see if we have this option. Yes, we do here. Okay. And the last question for now will be number 40. Which setup represents a hybrid cloud model? An Azure Web API that connects to an on-premises SQL server database at, at an on-premises private data center. So it's something on Azure that connects to on-premises SQL server. So this is the high no, We already know it's the first answer, but let's see the other. An Azure Web application that connects to an Azure SQL database. So we have Azure to Azure. It's it's public cloud, correct? Both are on the on Azure. Azure function that crawls the web for trend in news. Azure web job that makes calls to Azure represent on safe transfer. So again, you have Azure to Azure. No, the first one is correct. So let's. Uh, click on finish and let's see how we di did We have we got a boys 100% <laughs>